Testing one, two, okay, we're hot. Hi guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse. Welcome in today's show, which is a very, very hot topic. Today, we're gonna be testing the new Formula One hybrid cars on Aceto Corza not competition using the G923 by Logitech wheel. Thank you very much, Logitech, for sending me the wheel. I have to say, tremendous fun. I'm gonna show you very quickly how to basically do the setup. I'm gonna show you my graphics, and also, of course, I'm gonna show you the actual gameplay, because boy, 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 you gotta hang around for this, because it's pretty, Amazing. All right, let's move on to the settings first. Now, by the way, guys, I will show you where to get the hybrid Formula One cars, which are these ones here by Race Sim Studio, Race RAC3 Sim Studio, excuse me. And there are two to be able to choose from. First, we're going to go through the specs. And then after, I'm going to show you, of course, where to get those cars from, how to download them, and how to install them inside of your actual application. Timestamps in the description below. Also, by the way, guys, just in case you do want to skip to anywhere that is more familiar or relevant to you. All right, let's go back into the graphic settings. So options, and then basically we go to video. First of all, I chose 1920 by 1080p resolution, although this, to be honest, doesn't make a difference inside of VR. This is purely for the screen on the PC. Open VR early support is rendering mode. We also have full screen rendering, although this does not matter that much. Vertical sync, of course, I always switch off because it creates jitteriness inside of a VR headset. So if you have jitteriness inside of any other car sims or plane sims or whatever, make sure that your vertical sync is switched off. For frame limit, frame rate, sorry, limit, I put to 100 FPS, of course, because we cannot render at more than 90 hertz refresh rate on the HP Reverb G2, which basically means that if you are going to leave this on, then potentially the machine is going to render high frame rates but it's not going to make a difference inside of the game, which means you might as well save the computing power for better graphics. This will definitely help you along the way. So just a tip there. And it's a tropic sampling. Now we are using the RTX 2070 i7-9700K guys with some NVMe and Hero Maximus 11 motherboard. I put to the maximum and honestly, I don't have any issues whatsoever. For anti-aliasing samples, I put to the maximum. Also, no issues whatsoever. For world detail, I put to very high. For shadow resolution, I generally put this on medium or low because it doesn't make that much of a big difference, but it will take a lot of computational power inside of the machine. All right, so now let's go inside of effects and see how it all works there. So for the smoke generation, I put to normal. Show smoke in mirrors, I switch it off because honestly, I don't think it's really matters that much. Of course, if you want to know if there's a problem with your car or something, it could be important to see it. Post-processing effects, unable post-processing effects. Yes, I enable this. Now, for me, the effects preset that I really prefer out of all the different presets is movie, but do leave a comment description, sorry, a comment below, um, you know, to let me know what is your favorite preset in the game. Uh, I choose movie, but there's black and white, blue steel, default, of course, the default bright, dark, natural, photographic, sepia, and vintage. But for me, I prefer movie, as I mentioned, so do leave a comment below. Let us know what is your favorite setting. For depth of field quality, I put on high. Color saturation, I bump up the saturation a little bit more. I generally put it to 90%, uh, although I think the default is 100%, so it might be 10% less. I'm very sorry about that. I forgot about this part. Uh, motion blur, I always switch it off because it can cause some, of course, motion sickness. So it's definitely not recommended to have it when you are doing VR. Crypt Preschooler rays, yes, I definitely put it on. Heat shimmering effects, yes. Fast approx uh, approx approximate anti-aliasing, excuse me. No, I leave this off because I want the best inside of the machine, so I don't want it to be fast or, or, or rendered in a way that is going to create any less good quality. And honestly, with all these settings, which are pretty much you could say maxed out, I think you're gonna be very surprised in terms of what you're gonna see in the result of the gameplay as we're gonna go do, you know, we're gonna go through the Austrian track. Of course, it's the Austrian Grand Prix, not 
happening. It's happening pretty soon. So if you're watching this video in the next few days, well, it's happening over the weekend. If you're watching further later, of course, it's already passed. And perhaps if you watch next year, then it's going to be happening again in a few days or in a few weeks time, depending on when you watch this video. But I think you're going to be pretty surprised in terms of the actual graphics. Now, All right, guys. So now before we show you or before I show you the gameplay, which is, oh my God, you're going to be Honestly, stick around for it because it's very surprising as to how great this is. I'm going to show you how to get the cars now and how you download them, how you install them. It is so super easy. I'm going to show you what's inside the folders and all that kind of stuff. So let's do this. All right, let me just transition over. The first thing you need to do is just type, you know, Formula One Hybrid Aceta Corsa and then 2022 uh, and it will show you basically some links. Now, of course, I will put a link in the description below for you so you can go directly there and then you will go to the website which is the races um you know race sim studio.com slash rss dash formula dash hybrid dash x dash 2022 guys not 2021 be careful of this and then you will be redirected to the, to the homepage here and you'll see all the specifications of the car. It's amazing the amount of detail. This is very, very high poly stuff, guys. And honestly, I'm very surprised as to how well it runs inside of the game. And then you just click on basically uh, cars, formula, and then you go to here and then this one here or this one here. I bought the formula hybrid 2022 and you'll see it comes in two separate cars. All right, so we go, once you click on purchase now, it will lead you to this page here. At the moment, guys, there is a 10% discount. So do hurry because I'm not quite sure uh, when the actual discount is going to stop. Just FYI, I got no idea. It could be in a few days. I don't know. So, you know, you could go and purchase it whenever you want. And let me just transition over again. And this is the one here. So just click on add to cart. There we go. There's also Formula RSS 2022 pack one for AC here. So there's different cars here. And basically you can go to checkout and then it will lead you directly to the checkout page. And then you can use your PayPal or whatever it might be. It's only three pounds 59. So for now, it, for me, it was uh, just under six Singapore dollars, which is about four or five US dollars, something like that. So once you've actually made the purchase, what's gonna happen is a folder. There'll be a link given to you to download the folder. So just download the folder as such. And then let me show you how to do things. When you get the folder, you can save it wherever you want. You'll see it's a zip or dot raw file, it doesn't matter. And once you unzip it, if you go to the desktop, you'll see two folders. One is called optional CSP physics. Another one is called content here. And you'll also see a Formula H Hybrid 2022 car manual, as well as a must read text document, which explains to you how to actually install it. However, it's really easy. All you have to do is go to content, copy the folder, and then go to Aceta Corsa um, root folder. If you don't know where it is, all you have to do is open up your Steam. Once you're inside of your Steam, go to your library and then look for Aceto uh, Corsa and then right click on here, go to manage, and then go to browse local files, which is here, and it will tell you the path as to where it is. In fact, it opens up the window for you. And all you have to do, it's so easy, it's so simple, just take the folder from here, the content folder, and then just drag it in. It's as easy as that. Make sure that you do not drag it inside of one of the other folders, but inside of the actual main root folder here. That's all you have to do. Then all you next, Next, all you do is you go to Aceta, uh, Aceto Corsa, sorry, click on play, and then no need to launch the uh, VR version right now. Maybe you just want to check that everything is inside first. And then once it's all here, go to main menu, go to the drive section. And then normally if you go back to the uh, select car option, which is what it's gonna show at the beginning, you will see a little logo here, which is called RAC3 Sim Studio, and then boom, you will see the two cars which are here. Now, the great thing about the other folders, by the way, uh, when you actually download the 
uh, content stuff is that they provide you, if I go back to the desktop very quickly and I go in here in the must read, they actually provide you more details in terms of what the other folder is for, which is the extended physics. They do tell you that it's optional files uh, to be used with custom shader patch version 1.77 and up. It's a separate tool that is used by many people who modify the game further. So if you do want to do more modifications, do go ahead and use it. However, it's not going to affect the actual gameplay uh, when you're actually playing. So these files are completely, completely optional. You don't really need to use them if you don't really want to further modify the game in any shape or form. And do also read the terms and conditions inside because guys, it's very clear that we can't use these things for commercial purpose and all these kind of things. So do make sure you read all the TNCs before you create content, especially if you are a content creator. All right, guys. And then the other thing I can show you is the actual manual. This is pretty cool because it tells you a little bit more details in terms of the um, settings of the optimum temperature window of the tires, depending on what kind of compound tires that you have. So this is pretty, pretty cool. All right, guys, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing some actual gameplay inside so I can show you the graphics and what it all looks like. We're gonna do a flying lap together because, oh boy, it's absolutely amazing. And I just wanna tell you, first of all, that the settings inside of Steam VR. by the way, let me show you what they are, because. Amazing stuff, guys. All right, guys, so I'm inside of the HP Reverb G2. Let's just head over to Steam VR now. And the microphone that you can hear right now is actually coming from the HP Reverb G2 itself and not from my Ant Leon microphone anymore. And we're just going to be redirected inside of home. It will just take a little second. There we go. Now, the settings that I used for a lot of the testing, just to let you know, and I have been testing the game for a good couple of hours, just FYI. Um, so the first thing is, if I go to my mixed reality settings here, we go to graphics, reprojection is disabled with motion vector on, it doesn't work as well. So for me, it's completely disabled. I'm not using reprojection. Let me repeat, I'm using an RTX 2070 i7-9700K. I am not using reprojection, guys, just to let you know. And then the other thing is, if we go to video settings, here we go, and we go to Assetto Corsa, here we go. I actually have it on 100 20% guys and I do believe I could stretch it out to 150 even though I haven't tested it at 150 I went as much as 120 but generally speaking you could put it on 100 it will run super 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 smoothly for those who perhaps have another graphics card which isn't as powerful as the RTX 2070 even though the RTX 2070 of course is not the most powerful card it's a good medium size medium range card and do leave a comment below let us know guys what setup you use use with Aceto Corta normally, whether you use a 380, 390, and what kind of CPU do you use? So I just wanted to show this to you guys. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to go inside of the actual game itself. Now, when it powers Aceto Corsa and you launch it, you're not going to see anything that is, you know, virtual reality of any kind. In fact, you're just going to see this panel here. And what you can do is you can, you know, go here, return to game, and you're just going to see this thing here. Everything's going to run from your actual desktop. The annoying thing about Aceto Corsa for me, and this is really the annoying thing for me, is I have to use my mouse in order to navigate on the screen until I'm inside of the cockpit. Once I'm inside of the cockpit, I still have to use the mouse in order to navigate, which is pretty annoying. There's nothing on the wheel that can allow me to navigate around. So if you do know how to do this, please leave a comment below so that myself and everyone else in the community can learn from your findings. All right, let's go inside of the cockpit now. All right, guys, so I'm inside of the cockpit. We're about to start the race. We're here at the Austrian Grand Prix. Really, really exciting. Whew, this is really amazing. All right, let's go, 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 go. All right, don't want to spin off my wheels because the tires are so cold. There we go, we can go on the side. That's how we do it, guys, that's how we do it. All right, we're gonna go up the chicane here. There we go. I can tell you that the sensation in here it's absolutely, absolutely amazing. Oh man. Seventh gear, eighth gear. All right, we're gonna go up into fifth gear. Fourth gear, then third and then second gear. There we go, off we go, up we go, up we go. Let's go, 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 go. Oh, almost spin out of control there, but we got it. We got it. 
seventh gear, eighth gear. All right, the can about to happen again. Into fourth gear. We can do this, we can do this. Ooh, just a little bit off there. Fifth gear, fifth gear, seventh gear. All right, we're getting ready for this. Woo, number 10. Oh man, the sensation in here is absolutely amazing. I have to say that compared to Automobilista 2, it is, it is a very fine line because guys, this is a crazy. Everything, the graphics, everything is super smooth, everything is super clear. And it's just such a joy to, to, be, to be riding this, this car. Oh man, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Ooh, man, you can definitely feel the speed. All right, something, I got a warning. Let's go, 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 go. Oh man, look at these graphics. Look at this track. Absolutely amazing in here. It's just absolutely crazy. All right, turn in. Oh, let's go and catch this guy. Oh man, he dares to pass me. Oh no! Oh, lock the real the rear wheels there. Second one who passed me now. Let's go and get them. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. We can get them. Come on, we can do this. We can get them. But yeah, the graphics in here are absolutely amazing. You can read absolutely everything. All the letters and the words on the banners are all super clear. The trees, the details in the trees, the details in the grills, the spectators, everything is just absolutely amazing. No! Oh, we spun off. Oh, man. That was so close. That was very, very close, I have to admit. Whew. All right, time to rev off the engines. Guys, I am completely blown away, all right? I thought the Automobilista 2 was the best game around, but I'm telling you that Assetto, Corsa, these guys have done something to this game because I haven't played it in a while. The last time I tested it, you can go and check it out on the channel. I wasn't really have that, you know, I wasn't having that much of a good luck. And, you know, I was testing all these games, recording with my software on, the camera on, everything on, and I could max things out to such an extent. I'm just super impressed, guys. Honestly, I'm gonna do more videos. Do hit the notification bell after you subscribe to really give you my true sense of the word comparison with Automobilista 2, because this is getting, oh my God, this is getting so close now. And of course, I'm gonna be doing some testing with the Pico Neo 3 Link as well, guys. So do hit the notification bell after you subscribe. Oh man, just absolutely, absolutely amazing. And guys, I will be announcing the winner to the HP Reverb G2 very soon, and also the Cyber Shoes with the Cyber Carpet and the Cyber Gaming Station and everything that goes with it, and the 50 US dollar voucher that you can redeem against any VR game that you want. Perhaps you might want to buy this one if you don't have it. Um, you know, uh, on the MetaQuest store, Pico Link store, Viveport, and also Steam VR store very soon. Just getting a confirmation from Cybershoes that we can go ahead as I got it already from HP. All right, guys, take it very easy. I hope this video is very useful to you. I'll see you in this video here, I think on this side there. And also, of course, in another video very soon, coming soon, as I said. So do hit the notification bell after you subscribe. Bye for now, guys. Bye.